Hi everyone, this is Gary Tonicorp from MoreThanASnapshot.com. Today I want to talk about a new program from Topaz. It's called Topaz Sharpen AI. And I'm in the past I've been really impressed with Topaz's plugins, especially the uh, Topaz AI Clear, which was mostly noise removal, but it did have some sharpening abilities to it. So I was wondering if this program would, you know, work as well for sharpening. And so I'll show you what they say about their program on Topaz's website. Of course, it's supposed to sharpen images and avoid artifacts and halos. And right now, since it's a brand new program, it just came out uh, February 28th, 2019. Uh, they have it on sale. The regular price is going to be $79. Right now it's on sale for $59.99, and that will be on sale till March 15th. So if you're interested in trying it, I'll put a link in the description down below. There's a 30-day trial, and if you buy it before March 15th, you'll get the $20 off. But here you can see some examples of where it has done some sharpening on this bird. And something unique about this program is that they're claiming that it's going to stabilize you know, motion blur and that it's going to help with uh, missed focus. Now, of course, no program can actually fix mixed, missed focus, but they're claiming that if it's just a slight bit off within about 10 pixels, their software can make an adjustment and make it look better and make it look sharper. So this is some of their before and after images. And on their images, it seems to work fine. I'm going to put it to the test in a minute with a few of my images. So, again, uh, you'll see this link in the description and you can get all the details. But what I'd like to do is to jump right into the program. Now, this is the program itself. It can be used as a standalone program or it can be used as a Photoshop or a Lightroom plugin. And you can see it's very simple. You open an image and you've only got a few sliders to work with and a couple of tabs. Um, one tip they will give you is when working with the sliders um, is not to push them all the way to the max. It will start to make, obviously, make the image look funny. It'll look too over sharpened. So let's give it a try. I have uh, selected some images that were you know, images I liked, but were not very sharp, especially in the eyes. And of course, you know, portraits, the eyes have to be sharpened. So when I open the image right away, it's doing some basic processing. It has done some uh, basic sharpening. And I have not selected these numbers. It automatically starts in the middle at uh, 0.5. Okay, and if I click on the image, you can see that's the before. And that's the after. So that's just the effect of a little bit of sharpening. And it makes a slight improvement. Now, if I want to go and give it some more sharpening, like I said, they recommend not pushing it all the way to the edge. Here is the effect of the before and the after for that. So the sharpening works OK. Um, they also give you the ability to suppress noise and to add grain. You would suppress noise if you happen to have a very noisy image. You don't want the program to sharpen the noise. You want it to sharpen everything else. And that's what they're claiming this program does very well. It avoids sharpening the areas with noise, and it sharpens the details instead. It does not seem to have any masking for the mass, uh, for the sharpening part. Um, I guess it's using the AI to try, to try to do that on its own. If you wanted to use uh, masking, though, like I said, it is a plug-in for Photoshop, so you could just use that sharpened layer as a top layer and then mask out the parts you didn't want to be sharpened. Um, now, here's... When I was testing this, here's the part that I found interesting, the stabilize and the focus sections. As you can see, this image is just a tiny bit soft. So to me, this is the kind of image that they're talking about fixing, maybe just uh, a slight movement or something by, by the model or by me. Uh, maybe the shutter speed was just a little bit too slow, and you get this kind of a soft look in the eyes. So let's try the stabilize function. 
and you just click stabilize and it processes and there's really nothing you need to do here it's using the AI to try to figure out what's wrong it does take a little bit of time to process it but it's not bad and here it's done now let's take a look at the eyes this is the before and this is the after before and after let's see if I can show you the split screen before and after before and after so it looks like the stabilized function did a really nice job the eyes do look nice and sharp right now so I'm going to turn off the split screen mode and now let's try focus again it's going to process okay and now it's done now to me the eyes look soft again so so the focus button didn't seem to do anything so the problem with this image must have been because of a slight amount of motion blur and so clicking over to focus seems to eliminate what it did with stabilize because it doesn't even look as good as it did when it was on stabilize however it does seem to still be sharpening with the settings that I had chosen when I was on sharpen. So it looks like it'll do the sharpening and maybe either stabilize or focus, but it doesn't look like it does both. And if I click back to stabilize, I think here we see right away, it doesn't have to go through the process again. It didn't do that long processing, but now the eyes do look good again. They look nice and sharp. I could be wrong about that. Maybe when it outputs the final image, maybe it will apply the effect from both but in this case the focusing tab didn't seem to have any effect at all but i am very impressed with what the stabilize tab did and i'm very happy with that and i think it did make this image now much more acceptable than what it was before so let's try this again with some other images so i'm just going to close this image I have a, a few that are similar. Okay, let's try this image. Okay, as you can see, when it first opens the image, it does the basic amount of sharpening to the image. And you can see that it has done a little bit of sharpening to this image, but it really hasn't done anything for the soft eyes. And this one, you can see that there was quite a bit of motion blur, sort of the little catch light in the eye um, and the iris itself looks very soft and, and even around the eye looks very soft. Back here, the hair looks sharp. So this, um, again, most likely was motion blur but we'll see what tab uh, works best on it. So again, if I wanted to, I could add a bit more sharpening, but that's not really what's gonna help this image. It's gonna be one of these two tabs. Just for the heck of it, I'll jump right to focus. I'll do this one first. Okay, here's the before. Oh, it's processing again. All right, I am seeing a small amount of improvement around the eye, uh, clearing up, uh, you know, the focus in those areas. But I think the main problem with this image is going to be the motion blur. So I'm going to try that next once it it stops focus. It stops uh, trying to focus on it. All right, so let's go over to stabilize. Now that made a pretty dramatic difference. I mean, look at the size difference in the uh, catch light in the eye. So let me uh, try the before. See how the catch light looks like it's wider and softer and more diffused. And then when I let go, it'll, it's gonna reprocess, but then it'll show you the after. Maybe I should use the split screen. Okay, so this is the stabilized version of the image. 
Now I'll use the split screen to try to show the difference. That's before and that's after. And I think it's done a really good job of making the, the eye appear to be much sharper. So in this image, I think that that is having a pretty big effect. I'm going to add just a little bit more sharpening and I'll try the focus uh, function one more time uh, just to see if when I save the image that it it exports both and I'll put both images in the uh, blog post so you can check them out for yourself. All right so now I'll apply the focusing. All right that's the before and after of the focusing. So just to make sure that it applies the stabilizing, I'm going to make that the last thing that I do. And I'm going to turn off the split screen. And this time I am going to save the image. It will save out as a JPEG. And it'll have uh, stabilize at the end, so I, I'll know that that is the stabilized image. And all right, we'll just save it with those default settings. And like I said, I'll show you those at more than a snapshot.com if you want to be able to compare them. So, again, this has been Garrity Toningcourt, and uh, this has been Topaz Sharpen AI. I think that it has a lot of value to it. it. It could help save an image that you liked that was maybe just a little bit soft. And uh, you can check out the link in the description and try it for yourself. See you in the next one.